Pablo Solon knows the conference of the parties or COP process well. The former Bolivian ambassador to the UN believes global summits on climate change can't produce results on their own. We need to think in other kind of mechanisms. Not only this negotiation in small rooms with delegates that in some way are uh, push or, or, or they are bought with money or that they only receive instructions. We need to, to bring this issue to the people. For small countries most at risk from climate change, COP remains a vital global platform. But not all voices are welcome all the time. Nigerian environmentalist Nemo Bassi was barred from meetings at the now infamous 2009 summit in Copenhagen. These negotiators have a very narrow vision of what climate change is all about. They don't have the global picture. They're coming here with narrow, selfish interests, uh, which would not even fly with the citizens of these nations. For much of the last 15 years since the Kyoto Protocol was signed in 1997, much has rested on the positions of China and the United States. The US never ratified Kyoto and is reluctant to commit to internationally binding targets unless the developing giants do as well. China says it might. India says it won't. I wonder, do you accept that within this COP process, the US is the single biggest obstacle to progress? No, I don't. The issue here that we're seeking is action. And in fact, if we take a look at what came out of the Cancun conversations, we had actions from all the major emitters. All of them. They all put numbers on the table. But the UN's own reports say those pledges won't keep global temperature rise to manageable levels. And though it won't say so openly, the United States can't offer more. They need to say that given our domestic political situation, there is no conceivable ambitious treaty that could come out of this process, no matter what China, India and Brazil put on the table, that our current Senate would ratify in the medium term. The people! So the UN framework lumbers on at COP17 in Durban with protesters demanding politicians listen to the people instead. Pablo Solon believes outright failure here would be better than a weak agreement. At least then, he says, it'll be clear the system needs to change. Jonah Hull, Al Jazeera, Durban.